Hello, it's Jamie Andreas again from GuitarPrinciples.com and now we're going to take all that knowledge that we've gained about how to sit with a guitar, how to stay relaxed and focus on the whole body while we move the arm away from the body down here to play, how to hold the pick, how to stay relaxed while bringing the pick to the strings and so forth. We're going to use all that to learn to play our first song and to gain some really important musical skills even though we'll be dealing with a very simple song. Now, that song is going to be Three Flying Mice and you choose that because that enables me to teach you your first chord and a chord simply means um, placing one or more fingers somewhere here on the neck and strumming a few strings, maybe all the strings, sometimes not all, depends. In our case, we're going to strum four strings. And um, that particular song only needs one chord because as you'll really learn later, um, a lot of the problem in learning to play is learning to change chords. So we want to start off easy. And we're also going to gain the very important skill here of strumming a steady beat while we sing a song where the words don't necessarily go to that steady beat. And that can be tricky, and it really gives people a lot of problems when they start with things that are too difficult to achieve that. They can play for a year and not really have a song down that they can strum and sing, and it's very important to get to that point as early as possible with something simple, and then you can achieve that same thing with a more complex song. Now, the first thing that we want to do is work on that skill of strumming the strings while we can keep a steady beat. So let's do that. So hold your pick the way I showed you in the other video and bring it to the strings. And now your bottom string is called the first string, the skinny one. Second, third, fourth. Put that pick on the fourth string and strum down. Now, if you're too tight, you're going to stick on the strings. You have to be loose enough in your hold on the, the pick to allow the pick actually to kind of give a little bit. So focus on relaxing your whole arm and your hand to you get a nice strum like this. And now tap your foot up and down or your head or whatever just to feel that beat. And count out loud a steady beat of one, two, One, two, three, four. And just do that a few times and make sure you can do that nice and easily. And if you think it's too simple, uh, do yourself a favor and do it anyway. Because it's very important to be actually saying that count, tapping that beat, expressing the beat physically while you're strong. Uh, we want to get a good handle on it here so it'll be easy to do later when things are more complicated. Now, the next part of the um, learning this song is I'm going to begin to slowly raise my hand, starting from down position here, and then I'm going to slowly raise my hand and move my hand outward, and I'm going to feel my shoulder, my neck. I'm going to stay as relaxed as possible because this is actually a big effort for the body to move the arm out like this. Now I'm going to take my third finger, which is the ring finger. And I'm going to, holding my hand out like this, with my thumb behind the neck, not over like this, but like this, I'm going to begin to curl my finger slowly into the string and touch it, touch that ring finger to the first string at the third fret, and the frets are those little metal bands there, if you don't know that already. And I'm going to make my finger curl so that the finger goes right behind the fret touches the string, and first I'm going to touch it light, I'm not even going to press it down, and then I'm slowly going to just relax my arm onto the string, so that it's actually my arm weight that presses the string down. And there I have it. Now, if you find that your finger goes down flat like this, or you can't bend it right, well, pay more attention to the uh, movie on developing the left hand correctly. Try your best to get um, 
that curve in all the joints as you come down. Now when you be as close as possible to the fret, when you believe you have it down so that that string is pressed against the fret, you can try playing the first string and it should sound like this. Now if you get this, then you're not pressing hard enough or relaxing your arm enough to get the weight on there. So we need that sound, and then we back it up with the other strings, going down to the fourth string. And then I get that nice sound. Now I'm going to keep my hand there like that. You might want to practice that a few times, that whole process of bringing the hand out and then placing the finger like that. And um, let's couple that with the counting that we were doing before. So now I'm going to get, I'll start out, I'll give myself the count, get ready to play. So I got my pick ready, I got my finger down, and I'll go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so when that becomes nice and easy, and you're going along like that, then while you're doing that, you're going to start to sing. Bye, nice. 